Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia and this is Gabby. It's Gabby. You're back. I'm back. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready and raring. You're being in two videos with me today. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about that? Double video. Double video. Yeah. So yeah, Gabby's now back. And I always just have fun when you're here. Because oh, I'm so like, <laughs> no, it's because you've been on my own. I ramble and ramble and ramble, but now I've got you to ramble with. Because mm. like I've got no one else like helping me talk so I'll just talk to myself for ages or like just talk to the camera talk to yourself in an empty yeah. room and then you give me more to talk about yeah if anything we ramble more yeah with all my views yeah. <laughs> yeah two views two differing maybe opinions who knows <laughs> who knows but today we have come back to Bill Burr because we like Bill Burr I feel like Bill good old Bill good old Bill Good old Bill. And he always brings the energy. I feel like yeah. if you want to have like a high energy, like, you know, reaction. Watching experience. Yeah, like he's <laughs> the one to go to. But yeah, before we keep talking, <laughs> today we're about to do one called Paper Tiger Self Control. Mm -hmm. That's going to be about, I don't know, self control. That could be anything. So yeah, let's yeah. just swing on into it. So let's get on with the video. <laughs> So anyways, I'm a married man with a kid, happily married man. Yes, I am. I, yeah, I love my wife to death. I love everything about being fucking married, but I'll tell you this right now, we do fight a lot. We do argue all the time. If I've learned anything in five years of being married is we're always working on me. You know? <laughs> Evidently, my wife is just... Yeah, I love them about him. It's like the self-honesty that yeah. he's got. He's like, look, guys, I'll admit, we're mainly working on me. <laughs> Maybe me, but we're doing the things to do. I'm the one with the problems that need to be sorted. So. Or maybe he's not. He just thinks he is. You never know. <laughs> Maybe that's just what his wife thinks. He's like, we need to fix this. On me. You know? <laughs> Evidently, my wife is this completed work under museum glass that is to be admired and studied. Like, hmm, how did she do that? And I'm like one of these guys, one of, you know those buildings that just has scaffolding around it for like six straight years? So you're like, are they ever going to finish that thing? Is that some sort of insurance shop? Jesus Christ, what a piece of shit. You should just tear it down and start over again. Yeah. I have a temper. So that's the thing. That's what kind of ruins things. Everything else I do is fine, but I have a fucking temper and it just ruins shit. And then my wife always says the same thing. She's always just like, I just don't understand. Where did that come from? Where is that coming from? It's you just go from zero to a hundred in two seconds. It's like, first of all, I idle at 75 miles an hour. All right? So don't give me this zero to a hundred. I walked into this restaurant at 75. I could hear that guy talking too loud on his cell phone from the fucking parking lot. <laughs> That is true though. Sometimes it's the little things that really get on your nerves. Do you know what I mean? It's when you're already in a bad mood and then like a few little yeah. things keep happening and you're like, oh, you're like, like <laughs> <stop it." laughs> Do you know what I mean? But sometimes it is just the little things. So I kind of agree with him it's there. And days. sometimes you do, like people think you're going from zero to a hundred, but really it's just, you're in a bad mood already and then that just puts you over the yeah, edge. But you never go up to someone being like, don't try me because I'm in a bad mood. Yeah. No. You're just be like, everything's fine. It's and groovy. then you blow up. And then you just go crazy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> From the fucking parking lot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking tried all of this shit in a... Whenever she says that to me, though, I swear to God. I just don't understand. Where is, where is this coming from? It actually hurts my feelings when she says that. You know? Because it makes me feel like she's not listening to me. It's like, honey, how many childhood stories do I have to tell you before you follow the breadcrumbs to the absolute lunatic that you married? Did she ever take a psychology class? I'm not that complex. Like, I'll tell you guys a quick, uh, I'll tell you a quick childhood story. I'll tell you one of the funnier ones, right? One time when I was like six, my older brother was eight. We were in the back seat of my dad's car and we were like laughing and we were excited because it was around Christmas, right? And my dad just had this thing. He, he, he just didn't like joy, you know? <laughs> so he's sitting there driving. He's going like, Jesus Christ, knock it off back there. Christ, you're giggling like a couple of little schoolgirls. <laughs> Christ, you don't straighten up, I'm gonna buy you a doll for Christmas. And then he did. <laughs> I swear to God, he made us hold him up. My mother's taking pictures in front of the Christmas tree. I'm just standing there like, eh, eh. Afterwards, I ran 
ran upstairs to my top bunk. And my dad knew he fucked up, to his credit. He came up, he tried to smooth it over. He's like, all right, come on back down. It's over. Come on down, enjoy the holiday. And I'm like, I don't want to eat this. I fucking hate you. Right? He eventually coaxed me down, you know. He just, he softened up a little bit. Look, you don't get your fucking ass back downstairs. No one else can open that gift. I'm moving out. I said move it out. I go back downstairs all shell-shocked. Here's another gift for you, Billy. I'm like, is this a fucking dollhouse? When does it end? <laughs> yeah, that was Christmas, and those were people that loved me. <laughs> I just don't understand where is this coming from. I just don't understand. <laughs> so, I gotta do it, though. I gotta work on the temper. I'm gonna do it. You know, I got the kid now, and I just don't want, I don't want to pass it on to her. You know, I, got, I have like a demon in my family tree, like this fucking rage. It's just, you know, just keeps following us, and now I got it. I have it so bad, like literally my daughter, she's almost, she's a little over two years old. She's yet to meet me yet, you know? Like the real me. She's seen glimpses of me. I come, hey, how are you? <laughs> she's seen glimpses of the anger, but I'm able to smooth it over really quickly. Like, whoa, daddy almost snapped his phone in half. <laughs> see it in her face. I can see the way she looks at me. She's starting to put it together like, this dude's a little fucked up, man. This a little fucked up. I cannot tell you how... Do you know what I find it funny, though? Most people, like, make an effort to, like, I don't know, like, hide it or, like, hide things they view as, like, flaws in mm -hmm. themselves. You know, I mean, not that I'm saying it's a flaw for him, but in his <laughs> head, he thinks that's a flaw, right? But he's just so open about it. He's like, yeah, I do need to sort it out. I'm yeah, a bit of an angry guy. Like, I am working on the temper. Yeah. <laughs> it is bad. It's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Like, do you need to sort it out? And I love how, like, he gets so into it when he's, like, explaining the story. Because, like, I feel like I do that, too. Like, do you know, like, like yeah. well, I'll be like, talking about, like, childhood stories or just stories in general. I get so into it. And it's, like, the sarcasm. I love his sarcasm. It's my favourite thing. <laughs> he's a funny guy, though. See, he might be an angry guy, but he's funny, though. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Don't worry, Bill. You might be really <laughs> angry and full of rage, but you're funny. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes him funny. Yeah, because he's just like rah, 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 all the time. So it's, maybe that's where his like overabundance of energy comes from when he's performing his shows. The rage. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The maybe. rage inside him <laughs> fuels him a lot. Maybe. Trying to put it together, like this dude's a little fucked up, man. This is a little fucked up. I cannot tell you how heartbreaking that is to see from a toddler. You must last your own daughter. I'm like, I, I, I gotta, I gotta end this thing, man. <laughs> This rage, it has to end with me. I, can, I can't have an angry kid just walking around fucking kicking toys, fucking bullshit, just being like a lunatic. I want to be like that priest in The Exorcist when the devil got in him and he just fucking leaps out the window and dies, you know? So I, I've been fucking trying everything, you know? I try, I tried, you know, I don't know, I try, I, 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 meditating, wearing sweaters. I did that for a while. Like if I dressed like, like a regular guy, I'd be one. I drew a smiley face on a post-it and stuck it on my dashboard. Like that was gonna help with my road rage. You know, driving down the street like, you motherfucker! <laughs> my mum has so much road rage. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that for my mum, just buy like a little... Smiley face from a post-it. Yeah. <laughs> mum, I've got you a present. <laughs> This might make you a bit happy. No, like it's the insult she comes out with when she's mad at someone on the road. <laughs> like she'll start swearing and I'm just sat there next to her like, oh, all right, calm down. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Literally my mum. <laughs> In a non-bad way. <laughs> I think I think majority of people yeah. get road rage. Yeah. I don't because sometimes people can just be annoying. Do you like know even what I mean? even if it's not like because obviously there's the people that like you know go to the extreme of like they'll get out their car. And yeah, that's a bit OTT. But then there's like the people that also just sit in the car, like, just sit in like the privacy of their done up window, like like yeah. screaming because you know you can just drive past. You're just different ends of the spectrum. Yeah, you know what I mean. My road rage, you know, <laughs> driving down the street like you motherfucker. <laughs> Face. I remember one night I actually considered taking a bath because I was going to call my wife. I was on the road and I was like, I don't want to have a fight with her. I need to relax. What the fuck can I do? And I thought about it. It's like, women take baths, right? They do. It's a very feminine thing. They have a bad week. I just want to decompress and they just have to soak. And then they're just fine. Next thing you know, they're drinking wine. They're calling friends. I'm so glad you're in my life. And I feel like 
can get back out there again, right? So I'm literally alone. I start drawing a bathroom. And the water came all the way up. And at the end of the day, I couldn't fucking do it. <laughs> There's just no way as a man to take a bath and not think about killing yourself. You know? There's just something about slipping into that coffin-shaped thing. It's like, am I gonna slit my wrists? Am I testifying against the mob? What the fuck am I doing here? I'm a man, I don't take a bath. You take a shower, hose it off, block out your feelings, keep walking till you drop of a heart attack. Literally, as you're going down, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Can't take a bath, sitting there playing with a rubber ducky, sticking my toe in the faucet, right? It and not a tap. tap. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know where the word faucet comes from. It's only for a tap. Yeah, because you don't tap it. No. But maybe you, because like, maybe, like some some of them you push. Like there's like a, it's like a little oh, button. Yeah. So I guess that's like a a tap. tap. <laughs> a tap's know. easier to spell and to say. Exactly. Like faucet. Faucet. Yeah. I think it's because we don't have the American accent, so it's harder to say. Because they say like faucet. Faucet. <laughs> I really can't do the American accent. Tap. Tap. It's easy, isn't it? <laughs> Sitting there playing with a rubber ducky, sticking my toe in the faucet. Right? <laughs> Not allowed. Not allowed to be that happy. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go back to therapy. Do that fucking bullshit again. Fast forward to all these stories I've, I've told a million times. I gotta do it though. I got in, in, uh, I'm gonna do it for my kid and do it for my wife and selfishly do it for me because, no, I'm gonna tell you why. You're not gonna like the results, miss. <laughs> this is why I'm gonna do it because if I actually don't have a temper, like I just think to myself, like what could my wife complain to me? Like, what could my wife bitch at me about, right? I fucking crush everything. I do, I take out the trash. Okay, the gate was squeaky the other day. I fucking, I fucking, I made sure that was done. You know? I pick up after myself. I like to think I'm a good dad. I work my ass off and make a great fucking living. Crush all of that. All she has on me is who I am as a person. That's it. So, yeah, that is the end. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the end of that clip. I quite like that one. It's quite like light-hearted and like yeah. not too. It's more kind of like slice of life. Like yeah. that's what he actually is like. <laughs> that's just how rather it is. than about. Like, oh, I don't know why he's judging baths. Yeah, baths are cool as well. They like, are relaxing because you. Could, to be fair, it's like you could, like you could put a bath bomb in and like bubbles. Exactly. That's what I mean. I'm like, if you just have like water, that's no fun. Yeah, it's that's you need boring. A bath You're just you leather. Need yeah, you need bath you need bomb bubbles, things. like colorful, but like bath bombs. Yeah. I'm like, Amazing. No, no wonder you don't like baths if you're just sat in the water. Yeah. Like, what? No, Because then you're no just fun. like, this is boring. And you're just, you're like, oh, I may as well be sat mm -hmm. in like a puddle. Like, yeah. It's, but do you, you have like, do you really have like bubbles and like, you're like just yeah. covered in and bubbles. And you like, you put in like little like bath bombs yeah. and you like play with them in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're just not but doing yeah. your baths right. <laughs> but other than that, I just love how he performs it. Yeah. He's like full of energy, a little bit sarcastic and just what I like. Just like it. <laughs> Just like it. But did you like it? Yeah. Wonderful then. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, that Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. So <laughs> so yeah that was our reaction if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell bye <laughs>